everybody and welcome back to another On The Table guys. So it's occurred to me that I've not really done like a when in production type video um, for a long, long time now. Um, I kind of just do stuff, finish it, then do a video on it and my thoughts on it and stuff. And you know, maybe you guys want to see some of like my literally stuff that's like half done or whatever. You know, stuff that's like in the middle of, of being uh, done pretty much. Um, when in production, you might say, WIP. Why is that drawer open there? I don't know. You guys can't see it. But anyway, I'm going to continue. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, this is because a little update on uh, my black shields, how I'm uh, doing, how I'm progressing, how many more I've got. Um, the answer to that is quite a lot. Uh, I've basically gone through all my bits boxes, the majority of my sprues. Um, like I said, I've got... Can I even... Is that going to spin? Will that knock anything off if I spin it around? I'm just going to spin this camera around dead quick, guys. And basically, in those three bins there, they're all full of sprues. And it's, there's, a, there's a hell of a lot of, uh, of sprue up in them there bins. Um, various bits, bits boxes, the bits boxes dotted around the, the uh, office. And um, also, I had a quite a sizable donation of Space Marine um, uh, bodies and legs and stuff from a Mr. Elston Nation. Um, what a legend. Uh, the guy gave me a huge bag of Space Marine bits and, uh, yeah, didn't even want anything for him, which was absolutely fantastic. But I thought I'd say, you know what, well, on the way to salute, because I'm going to salute this year. Yes. Didn't think I was going to. Um, I'm going to I'll buy him a, Mac a McDonald's breakfast. But anyway, I digress. You guys want to see what I've been up to. Well, um, we're probably going to have to go um, handheld uh, for this one to some degree because I... Uh, shall I? Shall I? Don't know. I'll just get them down for you. Um, so, since last time, the number of actual finished painted miniatures, not based, might I add, um, has grown uh, considerably. Um, I can't remember which ones I showed last time, but these guys are basically all the ones that I've got um, painted and pretty much done with like a wash. Um, so as you can see, quite a sizable force. There's 14 of them there. Um, a few of the notable ones uh, are this one uh, right here. Um, this is actually my converted um, heavy flamer chap. So I'm just going to zoom in on this guy. Um, as you'll see, he has the Space Wolf Heavy Flamer, of which I shaved off the Space Wolf icons. But I thought to myself, oh, heavy flamers, they're so hard to get. You know, I think the only heavy flamer... Actual regular Space Marine non-Terminator heavy flamer model is from the uh, Death Watch. I think it's like a Salabander dude, uh, but I cobbled this one together out of a Space Wolf Terminator arm. And it's really easy actually, all you do is cut off the Terminator arm, file it down, cut it down to shape, and then just slide it on and glue it, and happy days, it's done. Um, but that has added a really, really cool um, look to uh, well, the, the, the guy, because it looks like extra chunky. It looks like it's almost scavenged in a way. Um, I'm going to have to um, probably adjust the lighting in here because it's getting that kind of time of the day where the light's kind of fading, and I'm just running off my... Um, Actual synthetic lights. But anyway, I digress. But no, he's pretty cool. I've also been adding these um, extra bits to the back. Uh, what I tend to do, um, I tend to uh, paint them kind of separately. That way that I have them to hand. And if I need to add like a little splash of colour on a miniature that's quite flat, uh, I can do. So I've got some grenades there. Uh, moving down here, I've got some little pouches. The camera would focus. And some melter bombs and stuff. Obviously they're in like a half done kind of state. I just glue them to this bit of stick. This bit of pole. Um, a couple of others uh, worthy of note. Uh, I've got uh, some more of the um, uh, iron armor uh, helms. So I think that's a Mark III, and then I think this fellow here is a Mark II. Uh, but as a result, it looks kind of squat. I believe the Mark II arm was a little bit shorter. So this one with the entire slit. I've still not decided on what I'm going to do for the eye slits. Um, I think I'm possibly going to either go for black eye lenses, or I'm just going to do a mixture, uh, just to see how that goes. Um, oh, I've got the uh, sergeant for the second uh, squad. This is a pretty cool guy. He's got like, a, I think it's the Mark III uh, iron armor, or boarding armor, whatever it is, a bionic leg with the kneely down bit. So it's power fist on there. And again, I've been experimenting with doing uh, faces. His face looks really, really good, uh, if I do say so myself. Um, I try to practice the faces as much as I can. I've got a bunch of um, ready-made um, heads up here that I've kind of just been 
practicing on that I'm going to um, I'm going to use uh, for the other guys that I've got. Uh, speaking of the other guys that I've got, uh, I'm just going to show you. Um, so yeah, there's those 14 that you see in front of you, and then there's uh, an additional um, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. There's an additional 15, which is over here, which is what I got, and this is incredible uh, that I've just made these from bits. Um, now you guys uh, will notice again, there's a lot of um, four drill bits on there. There's a lot of uh, old, very very old GW bits. Uh, there's also a lot of um, like non-legitimate GW bits as well, like this. Um, uh, weird yellow resin. It's obviously a knockoff. I just got these in these bits in a bunch of trade, but I thought, Do you know what? Why not use them? They're just as good. Um, so yeah, so we got like a really horrible milky kind of whiteness to them, but they paint up fine. They paint up okay. That's actually a veteran uh, marine. It's a shame you can't really see too much of him because he's a uh, quite dark. Um, but one of the things that I did, I actually went through my bits box again, one of my older bits boxes, and I found loads of these really old chaos backpacks. But the awesome thing is that these old chaos backpacks. Oh no, I'm knocking stuff over now. These really well piss fucker. That's not um. Well, that's, I'm going to have to go and dig for that, actually. I wanted to show that off to you. Right, I'm really sorry, guys. Oh, God! Earthquake test! Everything's moving! What is going on? I hope nobody has motion sickness. Hang on, guys. I just got to try it. Oh, my God, he's right at the back, near the freaking spider's nest. Oh, God. Oh, I can't reach him. Oh, oh, pray for me, guys. Pray to the Emperor for my salvation. Um, but, yeah. Uh, where did that other guy go? Oh, for the love of... Fuck, where the hell is he? Where the... Where the piss did I just put that? Oh, there he is, down there. Right, sorry, I'm a fucking dickhead, guys. Right, so, um, these really old school, um... I'm gonna have to turn this light off because it's blinking and it's starting to give me a headache. Hopefully, it will recharge a little bit by the time I come back to using it. But yeah, so these really proper, like, old, old school, um, Chaos Space Marine, um, backpacks. After, oh god damn it, this is like the most impromptu video ever, I wasn't even planning on filming today, but I just thought, you know what, I'm, I've come home, I've had a shitty day at work, I just want to film some videos and do some Warhammer stuff, so, anyway, um, right, so, uh, yeah, these chaps here, uh, as you guys can see, there's like no distinguishing marks are, that are chaos -y on these backpacks, which makes them really awesome and really, really good to actually use uh, for these black shields, because... It adds a much more cobbled together, much more non-uniform theme. However, they do become unified with the colour scheme, as you guys can see over there. Um, now, another cool thing that I found, another bunch of cool stuff, is uh, I found... Where is it? I found a bunch of these um, bolters. Now, these are really, really... I think these are second... Whoa, it just went really, really dark. Uh, these are second edition bolters. Um, but look how old these things are, but they just look really, really cool, just with the mixed armour set and everything like that. Um, and again, I've got some like non-GW parts there, these are some Anvil Industries, I think they're I the um, Mecha Warriors, or whatever it is, or um, Iron Warrior. I can't remember what they are, but they're like non-Space Marine, Space Marine components, which again, they look pretty cool, because it adds to the whole, you know, non-uniform effect of what I'm going for. Um, I've got some, I've got another seven in here that are um, just regular bolter, bolt pistol guys, whatever. I've got some that I'm going to use as like assault ones, so they have like uh, close combat weapons again. They have a mixture of the chaos -y, uh type of sword, such as this one here that's like half painted. I need to get a crack, you need to get a wiggle on and paint some of these guys. I'm going to do that after I finish this video actually. Um, but yeah, so if anyone can, can tell me, any of you lore masters, the curved chain blades, I believe they're not a unique to chaos thing. What legion used those predominantly? Was it like the um, uh, uh, world eaters or something like that? I don't know. Please tell me where the origin of these curved kind of chain blades uh, came from. Um, yeah, so we've got that. Uh, I've also been doing um, a little bit of work on some character models for these guys. So I have my almost uh, completed, in fact, actually, yeah, I've shown you already, my almost completed um, like captain. Sorry, guys, my finger slipped on the um, recording button there. Uh, but yeah, I've got my nearly completed uh, captain, uh, or, you know, HQ choice or whatever for these guys, and he looks really cool. Is my light going to have enough juice to... Cast some better light on it. There we go. Um, I'm just going to zoom in. But yeah, this guy is really, really cool. Just a really nice little... I'm not doing anything particularly fancy to these, apart from give them a nice-looking paint job. Um, 
he's just a, a, a painted up pretty nicely. Nothing major in regards to converting. We've got different marks of armor. Uh, we've got like a really cool kind of like combi plasma um, uh, bolter there. Uh, went for regular power fist. I was going to give him lightning claws and add some glowy glowiness, but I thought it looked better just power fist. So it's Terminator on us there. Um, it's cape. I've had this um, Captain uh, cape knocking about in my bits box for probably about. 10 years now and I decided to finally use it so what I did because I wanted a more you know ragtag kind of veteran appearance I kind of went in with a knife and kind of just made it a little bit raggy around the edges again nothing too mega mega on the conversions we've got a fantastic mark 3 backpack there and one of the things I'm particularly proud of is the face on this guy it's kind of hard to see because he's quite washed out but I was very chuffed with the face he needs to do the eyes and stuff but other than that, he looks really, really good. So I've got him. Um, I'll move on to the actual the, the, some of the heads that I've been doing, guys, because these are really cool as well. Um, again, just a nice little thing just to practice on. You know, I've got like a spare hour or something. I can just go in and just have a little mess about with him. Um, so I've got uh, these heads here. It's just like a space of one. I need to put a little bit of a wash over that eye patch. And then just a random marine head. Just, again, trying experiments with different kind of skin tones and different textures and things. Then we've got um, this one here. Uh, so we got you know some space wolf heads. We got some uh, forge world heads. These two here, I really like this one. Uh, I like his expression. Uh, he's pretty cool. These are going to be like on my um, uh, assault squad guys. So we got space wolf head. I got a uh, old death watch head. I have got loads of these death watch heads, but because they're all the same, it's a bit weird using them because <laughs> they. Uh, it's like you've got clone marines. I suppose they could be uh, chimera marines. You know the ones like uh, other apothecaries tried to clone. You know like legions. I mean it's not. Uncommon for Death Watch to use cloned uh, marines uh, because obviously they need to uh, bluster their numbers somehow. Uh, but yeah, so I could do that. That's a really good idea actually. But they're normally unstable, which would suit actually a um, what you call it, assault squad uh, type uh, effort. Uh, got some more space wolf heads uh, just because I think that the expressions on them are really really cool. Um, and I've got some tidying up to do on this guy's head as well, but they're coming along nicely. And I, I've kind of, I've tried to do skin. I, I'm using this as a trial because I want to start doing more variety rather than just power armor or orcs or whatever. So um, I want to try and work out how to get a good recipe down for skin, and I think I've done it pretty well here. I kind of just freeball it, kind of start off with um, like a very very light uh, flesh color. Then give it a wash of Reichland Flesh Shade or whatever the equivalent is now, uh, and then kind of like dry brush over it in different layers and stuff, and just I just I literally just freeball it with these guys. Um, so anything else? I right, the other thing that I've been doing, I've been um, uh, getting a librarian sorted here. Now, this uh, guy is actually made from a middle miniature. The, I forget which set it's from, but it's an older set now. But um, this came in a box in a box of stuff that I got in trade, just um, given to me by um, uh, Spud Tate, the old war gamer Viking. It was in a really bad way, state of disrepair. But I kind of cleaned him up and um, yeah, just sorted him out and get, obviously need to get him a shoulder pad there. Uh, I kind of wanted him to be like the librarian of my black shields because um, one of the things that I thought would be quite interesting, maybe I was thought of maybe some fluff that these guys maybe do have some kind of um, uh, star, you know, space traversing technology, but obviously they would need some form of astropath. Um, and librarians, apparently, there is like the state, there's like four levels to librarians in regards to um, like their power. I think the, the, the second or third level librarians, they can actually guide starships over short distances. Obviously, not huge distances like astropaths do, um, but they don't have to forego the, undergo the rituals and stuff that uh, basically fuck you up as an astropath. Which is quite cool. Um, but I really like this model. I've always liked it. It's quite dynamic. Um, and it's just really, really good. I had to do a lot of repair work here. Because I tried to pull it apart. So I could cut it down and re-glue it. And make it flush. But it didn't work. So I had to go in with some green stuff. And just make that a little bit better. I've been covered up the inquisitorial symbol on this grey knight head here. And I need to do the same thing on the skull at the back. And I've got this dark angel sword. I really like it because the flared out end to it. It looks really cool. Really hefty. And I'm going to put a mark 3 shoulder pad on him there. Uh, but he's he's going to be really cool when it, when he's done, when he's finally done. I'm going to pop that head off as well because it's only glued in there with green stuff. And, um, yeah, focus. Damn you, focus. There we go. Um, but, yeah, so it, it, it's all going pretty well, really, with this little project. Um, it's turning into a big project again. 
as all my projects do. Uh, however, um, I've been wondering, thinking about vehicles and stuff. Um, I, I do want to try and get away from Dreadnoughts and stuff like that. Uh, mainly because I don't think that Black Shields would have... A, the feasibility to inter someone into a Dreadnought, and B, the actual technological workings to be able to maintain one. So, shying away from Dreadnoughts, as much as it pains me, because I love those big bastards, they're just so, so cool. Um, but I'm thinking of other vehicles, I'm thinking Rhinos, uh, I'm thinking maybe Razorbacks, and maybe some form of Flyer. I'm thinking, because I've never actually built any of the GW Space Marine Flyers. Oh, excuse me, I'm tired as fuck from working. Um, I've never actually um, got any of the Space Marine Flyers, so I might have that big one that's like a flying land raider, because it has, as much as I slated it in a video many years ago when it came out, it has grown on me over the years, but it'd be nice to just have something a bit different to paint. Um, I like I say, Flyers are cool. Flyers are cool. Um, but anyway, yeah, I can't really think of anything else to show you guys. This is literally just a progress report, a bit of an update um, on what I've been doing recently. Uh, just been cracking on with it. But again, look at all the Marines. There's so many of them, and like, not, like probably at least 70% of these were just bits box finds. Uh, so just literally random stuff that I had lying around, and obviously the rest of it was kind donations. I mean, if anybody has any Space Marine parts uh, that they want to donate to me, by all means, I'm accepting donations. <laughs> I'm not going to say no at all in the slightest. Uh, obviously, I don't want to be sounding like I'm begging for components, you know, begging for models and stuff, because I'm not. I'm just saying, like, if anyone wants to offload some old bits that they don't have, then, then happy days. Fair play. Go for it. Um, and you will be added to the Black Shield Legion as it stands. I've still not come up for a name for these guys yet. I'm thinking something like the like the 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 I don't know the the Lost Ronin or something Ronin because these guys really are samurais without masters. You know they're they're warriors without a cause kind of thing. Um, rebels without a cause, man. Um, but anyway, yeah, guys, uh, I would just like to say thank you for watching, and uh, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe if you have enjoyed this video. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, I'm going to mooch off now, so thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to check out the Facebook group for a little sneak peeks, and I will see you again in the next video. We're so close to 2,000 subscribers, guys. I'm going to do a little video soon as well, I think. I'm going to be um, doing a little competition. Uh, but anyway, um, I'm going to stop this video now, so that's just a little sneak peek as what's going to be going on in the future, so stay tuned for that. I might do something. I might pick up something from Salute. We'll have to see. We'll have to see what happens. But anyway, uh, I'm going to go now, guys, so see you now, and goodbye.